Hi again, I'm Mike Scott, film critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans. And if you go see just one new movie this weekend, this is The One, my weekly video for NOLA.com, where I try to help you sort through all the new offerings at the box office. And this is a big week for local film fans. Not only do we get the launch of the 25th annual New Orleans Film Festival, which will see some 237 films screening at more than a dozen venues around town over eight days, but we also get the wide release of the locally shot romantic weepy The Best of Me, based on the book of the same name by Nicholas Sparks. And as much as I love to recommend local films in this space, I didn't quite swoon over Sparks' film the same way its lead actors swoon over one another. Good thing then that we also get the World War II tank movie Fury, starring Brad Pitt and helmed by David Ayer, the screenwriter turned director behind such films as Training Day and End of Watch. And simply put, Fury is Ayer at his searing best, a film that is as intense as it is brutal and riveting through and through. Video's 86. We're on our own. Good shot. Oh, that one me. No, no, I'm the instrument, not the hand. God didn't call us today. You hear me, boys? What's he doing up there? Big paradise. No one else came up snake eyes but us. Lord's protection. We got it, don't we, boy? Yes, sir. <laughs> we got yes, it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Norm mowed them fuckers down, didn't he, too? Hey, good job, Norm. Welcome to the Army, Norm. <laughs> you did good. Oh! oh. <laughs> Best job ever. Best job ever. Best job ever. Best job ever. That's Brad Pitt there, of course, with the rest of his five man tank squad, rounded out by Shia LaBeouf, Michael Pena, John Bernthal, and Logan Lerman as the wide eyed newcomer to the group. And all five are great in the roles as they credibly convey the psychic toll of war on the men on the front lines. But beyond that, and beyond the relentless edge-of-your-seat action, Fury does a great job of taking World War II, a war with a head-spinning scope in so many fronts, and shrinking it down to the size of the inside of an M4 Sherman tank at the center of it all. In the process, Ayers Film does for w tank warfare what Das Boot did for submarines, and what Saving Private Ryan did for D-Day. That is, it thrusts viewers through the hatch and into the action. Granted, you can't quite smell the exhaust fumes or feel the roasting heat inside the tank, but failing that, Fury feels about as authentic as a film like this can probably feel. In my review in this week's Lanyap and online at nola.com movies, I give it four stars out of five. And so this week, Fury is also the one.